it will load it into the game from the character select screen and get this screen and we'll have to wonder why well there could be a, a number of different solutions uh, that can get this uh, this part here fixed uh, the first and easiest question is one are you connected to TeamSpeak um, and so while in this case um, right now you can actually check yourself um, sometimes you're connected uh, sometimes it shows that you're connected and sometimes uh, in that case it's just a matter of uh, hitting connect again and get yourself reconnected so you just have to reconnect it and poof there you are now there are signs where even that works <clears throat> so the other thing you do uh, if you are just well, coming into the county for the first time is that you need to make sure that you have the salty chat plug in uh, and um, you also need to make sure it is the correct version uh, so uh, from the actual team speak itself uh, or from uh, discord itself on the left side uh, you need to make sure you come over here to Old West Info. Uh, and if you scroll up, you're going to have your salty chat link right here. It needs to be the 2.3.6 uh, uh, plugin. You download that. You make sure your TeamSpeak is closed. You download that uh, and you install it. Anytime, here, let me go ahead and close this. Anytime you go uh, load TeamSpeak up for the first time, or not for the first time, but I'll say for the day, uh, you need to make sure um, you do not update the actual plugin itself. You're gonna get this message right here. You wanna make sure you do not hit yes. You don't want, you don't want to update to the newest version of um, Salty Chat. So you just hit no. Uh, you hit connect. Make sure also that you use the correct, um, that you are connecting to the correct TeamSpeak because you may not be connected to TeamSpeak, right? So make sure you're using uh, ts3.oldwestroleplay.com. And then hit connect. And it should bring you right on in. But what if one... Uh, you're using the correct um, server name for TeamSpeak. You have uh, the Salty Chat plugin. You uh, other option is uninstall and reinstall the, the the plugin. So how do you do the, How do you uninstall the plugin? You go over here. Uh, actually, sorry. You go to uh, Tools. Go down here to Options. You go over here to Add-ons. And there's a salty chat plugin, and you have to do the uninstall right here. <coughs> Once you uninstall it, you close TeamSpeak, and you, from that same link, you reinstall the salty chat. What if after reinstalling salty chat, uh, you still are given uh, the, the, the same issue? Well, you uninstall TeamSpeak at that time. And depending on which computer you, uh, type of computer you have, on the bottom left of your screen, you're gonna have your little search field. So let me go ahead and bring down here. Under your search field, you wanna look for um, um, programs. You can either type in programs and then add or remove programs. <coughs> Pop it up here. Uh, and you would basically, before it fully populate, You'll look for TeamSpeak right here, and you just uninstall. And that's just if you have Windows and depending on the version of Windows you have. Now, what if you've uninstalled and reinstalled um, TeamSpeak? Making sure you're using the correct, you're using the correct uh, server name. You've uninstalled and reinstalled uh, Salty Chat, and you're still getting that same screen. <coughs> and you're still getting. Let me get, get back 
right here. And you're still getting the screen. There is one other, uh, there's one last thing that you can do that's for so far, for everyone who has done all those things and still doesn't work, has solved the problem. And if you feel that you're comfortable with doing this, it's not going to mess up your system, uh, as long as you do this correctly, uh, is to manually set your domain name server on your computer to Google's domain name server. And all that is, is it's, a, it's how your computer looks up information on the, on the internet. And so to do that, What you first need to do is go ahead and pull up your browser. Actually, um, bottom right of your, your little, little drop-down arrow, you're going to find your internet section right here, uh, wherever your internet uh, connection is, Wi-Fi or um, if you're connected through Ethernet. Right-click it, open network and internet settings. And then you're going to look for where it says change adapter settings. And then you're going to look for your connection. You're going to right click it, hit properties. And then you're going to look for internet protocol version 4, IPv4. You can double click it. So here is the window here. You want to go down to see where it says obtain DNS server address automatically. You want to click on use the following DNS server or address. You want to type in our 8.8.8.8. And then the secondary address is 8.8.4.4. Once you have uh, got those two in there, you just have to hit OK. Um, and, and, and in this case, I'm going to just hit cancel. To double check to make sure it took. You just double, check, double click here, make sure that still shows the, uh, what you had just typed there. Once you've confirmed that the domain name server is there, <coughs> you go down to your search window down here at the bottom. We're going to bring up what's called the command prompt. So you're going to type in there CMD, open up your command prompt, and now what you're going to go ahead and do here is... Uh, you want to do what's called, you want to flush your DNS, your domain name server. So you're going to do IP, C-O-N-F-I-G, IP config, space, forward slash, uh, flush DNS. Um, and once you hit flush your DNS, it's going to give you a message saying, successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. At this point, as long as in your, um, in your settings here, uh, that uh, it still shows the uh, Google's uh, domain name servers here, those two that you put in there. At this point, all you need to now do is go back to your, or, or close your TeamSpeak, um, reload your TeamSpeak. There you go. <coughs> Make sure not to up <coughs> not to update it. And go ahead and connect. And then it should should bring you in game. If for whatever reason that does not work, uh, just restart your computer and reload um, the game in TeamSpeak again. Because sometimes after you flush the DNS, uh, you have to restart your computer. But so far, um, in 100% of the cases in which you get that screen and you've uninstalled and reinstalled Salty Chat uninstalled and reinstalled TeamSpeak. Made sure you use the correct version of um, Salty Chat. Are using the correct uh, server name for TeamSpeak. 
uh, and then in the, in the end, having to specifically set the DNS. So far, 100% of the time, it's fixed the issue. Uh, if you ever, if you have any other questions, uh, please feel free to uh, either uh, let me know, um, or you know, if this is, uh, or if you have any other further issues, just uh, reach out to um, either support or OS uh, staff. Um, kind of let us know. Um, all right. I hope this helped. Take care.